through threats to the biological fa father that he was not going to be able to ever speak again. I, I know I was threatened to be ran over, punched in the face. Can't wait for something bad to happen to me, remember? Being stalked by team you-know-who. And then now we've got this. I think law enforcement needs to pull their head out of their behind. That's what I think needs to happen. I think they need to come to Jesus because you can't just keep fighting with everybody that does not agree uh, with your, um, what you think they should be saying. Because this, at the end of the day, is America. We have so many freedoms, you know, our cons our laws. I want to clear this up for, because I know I have law enforcement in here that watches me and spies on me as well. Our laws are not what regulates us, the American people. It's what regulates our policyholders and our lawmakers. Okay? It's what they can and cannot do to us. Not the other way around. Just like we don't work for them, they are civil servants to the American people. One dollar of federal funds, you work for the entire world. United States. Let me fix that. One federal dollar. One federal dollar. That's all it takes. So we know federal dollars have been used all over the country. They're not immune to that. I'm not sure how I feel about all this because they're trying, these law enforcement bodies are trying so hard to put a plug in criticism. Our, our, our freedoms, our freedoms, the thing that law enforcement is supposed to uphold and protect, the Constitution of the United States of America, 